Hello you guys, I am currently vlogging on my big camera and um, I'm doing that because <sighs> it's been so frustrating with my phone not working with the sound. So I think I'm just going to start vlogging on this potentially. We'll see how this goes. Um, but I wanted to share some updates because I have a lot to share, honestly. Um, we have done a lot of stuff, I feel like, around here lately. And um, yeah, it's a super busy week because uh, tomorrow my cousin and her boyfriend get here. They came and visited last Memorial Day and then they're coming tomorrow for Memorial Day. Um, so, and it's also my birthday on Memorial Day. So just a lot going on to get ready for that. I um, have had a pretty busy morning um so far and so i just need to get some more stuff done but i did seal and put the last layer of poly on these cornhole boards that we just put decals on so i want to show them to you because they look so good so my dad actually made these cornhole boards for us last year and my cousin brought them down um and they're just aren't they so freaking beautiful but then we got we ordered these two and then we got um these two made um our local library back in Michigan there's like a cricket and they made like these for us um so all I did was put more of this white bomb poly on it I put two coats on there and that's what my dad used originally to seal the board so these have to completely cure so um they are just sitting there waiting. Now, let me give you a garden update. It is absolutely beautiful, except for the fact that we had this huge storm blow in out of nowhere yesterday, and now my hydrangea bush is falling over. So I need to get something to prop that up, maybe today, because um, I'm so sad. Look at this. Also, my elephant ear is doing amazing. I just realized there's another new leaf coming in there. A bunch of new leaves. Um, but look at all these. Beautiful, beautiful lilies. More lilies there. Um, what's left of the roses? It looks like this one is sprouting a little bit. So potentially we'll have more roses. Um, these day lilies. And then look at... So, actually, these hydrangeas might need more water, but look at how it just fell in the middle. These are actually starting to perk up a little bit, but I need something to prop these up. And these lilies are just hidden under here. So, these cushions are inside from the storm last night, but and then I got to fix this because some of the clips came off because I wasn't able to remove these cushions or even um undo this last night but we stained the fence you guys look at this doesn't it look amazing it is so good we did this last weekend so we stained the fence last weekend it was so hot and so much work it took us like five hours or so to do it with a break in between um but it's so worth it because now it'll be all like sealed and um it just looks way better honestly it looks finished now so i love it i'm so so dang happy with it hello you guys so today i'm doing a little refresh in my office that i have been wanting to do for a really long time i got these frames from walmart like forever ago they're really really affordable and they are eight by ten matted frames i got six of them i want to do a little gallery wall on this wall here because that's like what you see that wall when i'm filming and it's just like a focal point um i'm also gonna oh maybe i'll put my new plant in this corner um anyway so i have been putting it off because i was originally going to get stuff like printed from the store or whatever and i was like you know what i have a printer i'm just gonna print some quotes and some stuff offline and let me show you what I put together. I'm gonna put the um, frames, put them in the frames and then hang up. Oh, I did three different quotes and then these like watercolor plants. So I have Canva, um, which is like an online, basically like 
uh, graphic design program and it is absolutely amazing if you have canva pro you can get all three of these designs and um, print them off and they have like so many different templates and it makes life so easy as someone who is in the graphic design space i graduated with a minor in graphic design and i so i know like all the photoshop or not photoshop like um adobe creative cloud i know how to do all that kind of stuff but it's so nice to have like easy templates um i even use it for like actually my job and everything so it's absolutely amazing i would highly 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 recommend canva um they have a free version as well but anyway so i'm gonna put these in there so i have all of my um prints in the frames and i love 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 how it turned out um so now to hang so we need a level a tape measure nails and a hammer wow i can't think of words um and then like a pencil ah! oh like pencil or a pen to like mark the wall so i'm gonna put them here and i want them like evenly spaced apart that's why we need the tape measure and level and stuff um and i'm going to put the six of them i think three and three um across so here we go <laughs> Now I just need like a plant or something in that corner. So basically all I did was I did the center one where I wanted it and I wanted it centered with the desk. Um, so I chose that height on the top one first and then it's like it was um, I measured out from the center. So it was like five and a half inches and then I want them five inches apart. So I added that and then I kind of forgot that I had to add another five and a half inches. So I have one boo-boo hole there. Added another five and a half and then I measured up from the ceiling, which was 19 and a half to make sure it was all level. So every time I did a hole, I measured from the ceiling um, for these three. And then I measured from here um, down. I wanted three and a half inches. And so these frames are 14 inches tall. And so I added three and a half to that, 17 and a half. And I just measured down from that nail hole and made sure it was level um, when I marked it and then did that for all three and it was pretty easy. It took me about like 15 minutes. Um, so yeah, I really like it. I looked it up and these frames are like under $3, which is insane because they look so nice. Um, obviously they're like cheap um, frames and not like gonna be the best quality, but they get the job done for an easy project. So this, project literally cost me I don't know like $18 to do which not bad at all so I just got done filming a try and haul a target try and haul which was so freaking good if you haven't seen it on my channel yet go check it out when it, this shirt is part of it and it is so comfy there's like graphic tees a ton of basics they're super affordable and yeah go check it out anyway I wanted to show you guys our bedroom because I talked about getting a new bed, but I don't think I ever showed you guys the new bed. Like, what the hell? So anyway, I'm going to share that with you guys today. And then also, I got two new plants that I don't think I vlogged either. Um, I got those yesterday, but we got the new bed like weeks ago, and I haven't shared it with you guys. I just haven't vlogged very much at all. So Alrighty, so I have it on wide angle for like the view of our bedroom right now. Um, and honestly, it doesn't look, I mean, the nightstand looks literally miniature because it is comparatively. Uh, we still have the old nightstands in here because um, we just honestly don't want to spend the money on them right now. Because we had to get all, like we had to get a new mattress, a box spring, all of the bedding and the bed frame. So obviously a big purchase. So the bed frame is from Overstock and I absolutely love it. This whole room is gonna transform eventually. Like I wanna get, want, I wanna get, I want to get a new rug, obviously new nightstands, lamps, 
maybe some artwork above here, some more plants, um, like in this corner here. There's just going to be a lot of transformation in here, but we're doing one thing at a time. So anyway, it's going to be more fitting and similar to the rest of the house as far as like kind of a, I feel like I like a boho-ish theme, um, like a modern boho maybe. So that's why I really love this like natural wood. This is all real wood um, and the price wasn't that bad for real wood. I will say you have to get a box spring with this bed frame, which we didn't know right away. So we didn't get one. And then I was, yeah, the bed was sagging a little bit. And I was like, uh oh, we might need a box spring. Looked it up. We did. So anyway, I have a box spring under here. So we ended up going with the Allswell, I think it's called the Lux mattress. It's the middle one. Um, so it's kind of supposed to be firm and soft like a little bit in between the two not one or the other and we both love it right now we ended up going with all as well or one of the mattress companies because one it was super easy we didn't have to go in the store and like the person didn't have like salespeople at mattress places I swear are the worst and so we did have to deal with that we both agreed on it the price was pretty good and then um anyway we there's the money back guarantee if you don't care about the whole money back guarantee guarantee thing and you have a sam's membership all well does have the lux on their site for only like 500 dollars or maybe a little over that and i think we paid like seven something um obviously we wanted the 100 day guarantee just in case we didn't like the mattress but my mom is getting a new mattress for their house and knows that we like this like for the guest room so she's gonna buy one on sam's that's the only reason i know that they had that she like found it on there, which is mind blowing to me. So anyway, if you're in the market for a new mattress and you don't care, definitely go to Sam's. They have cheap mattresses. Um, so anyway, okay, let me share some of the bedding. Okay, so I'm going to probably have a blog post up about all of our new bedding because I got everything on Amazon except for the bed frame everything the duvet this is the same duvet color cover that we have in that room over there the guest room that was our old bed and I got a new duvet insert and I like this one better than the one we got for our old bed um this blanket is from Amazon and it's perfect for like the summertime we've just been sleeping with like this on it I will say if you have pets obviously they're gonna snag it but I really wanted something textured um, and then we got these sheets, which are actually like a bamboo material. So they're supposed to keep you nice and cool at night. Uh, what else? These are our old pillows. I do want to get new pillows in here, but I haven't found any I love. And then these silk pillowcases are amazing. And they zip on the sides, which I love. Our old ones buttoned. And um, I got us new pillows too that we really like if you're like a side or stomach sleeper, which we both are kind of like sides I'm kind of slash stomach. And yeah, I think that's it as far as bedding. Oh, and we even got our box spring off of Amazon because we were panicking because we needed one so bad. We actually like pulled the whole mattress off one night and slept on the floor over here, like shifted everything over. It was a, it was a mess. Um, so yeah, I will link everything that we got. Honestly, such good quality. I love it. It's all so, so comfy and very, very affordable. You guys know how I do around here has to be affordable. Okay. And then look at how beautiful I got this majesty palm yesterday from, um, Home Depot for only $15. I just have a towel under it just in case it leaks. Um, cause I don't have an actual pot for it yet. Um, uh, but isn't that beautiful? Our whole bedroom gets a lot of sun cause it's South facing. And so I just love how this looks so like, obviously tropical because it's palm but it just looks so calming and I love how it takes up the space before this palm we literally don't have any plants in our bedroom which is insane because there's so many plants in the other parts of the house and this gets a lot of light I just don't have anywhere to put them right now um because our nightstands are so little once the nightstands are bigger I'm definitely putting one at least on my nightstand might need a little core scene from Caleb I want to get something that's short maybe like some succulents or something on here 
and then even like this is like covered in junk but something up here as well and maybe in this corner I just love plants and I just think they're so calming especially in the bedroom I wish I could put plants in our bathrooms but they both have zero windows so can't really do that um but here is the other plant that I got sorry that I talk about plants all the time but they are literally some of my favorite things <laughs> ever so here's another one that I got that literally I've been wanting one for so long if you follow the rustic palette on Instagram that's her handle the rustic palette she shares all of her house plants like all the time but especially this big huge monstera that she has and I've wanted a monstera since then but everywhere I see them like which you don't see them that often I feel like they're about $40, $50. Well, I found one for $25 in a pot at Home Depot. So here we go. Isn't she lovely? Look at it. Oh, I'm so happy. What are you barking at, Luna? Hey. Hey, you. What are you doing? What are you barking at, huh? What are you barking at? Okay, brief intermission for a cute luna bug and also hydrangeas from the front garden. Aren't those absolutely gorgeous? Okay, back to the back to the other thing. So right now I just have it in here because obviously there's plenty of light and space. Um, eventually I want to get a oh my gosh, I did literally did this exact same thing in stories when I was sharing it earlier. So I found wide, wide angle. This obviously needs filler. Um, I want to get probably a long kind of like buffet slash just like entry type of table. And then maybe put like a mirror up here. We have a couple in the garage. And then I can start putting some plants on there, especially this bad boy. Because I thought about putting it in our bedroom, but honestly, I want it out, out for the world to see it especially my first one. Maybe I'll get a second one for the bedroom because it is so beautiful. Um, but yeah, $25 and it literally came in a white pot. It has a grow pot in there as well. So yeah, I'm so impressed and it doesn't look like harsh or like it needs any help. So yeah, that's my baby. And these ones are thriving as always on this uh, ledge here. So that's uh that's what's going on over here